So how would you say does an organization start to build proficiency in innovation? In innovation? Well, people often misunderstand what innovation really is. They think it's about getting great ideas. Um, and sure, that's part of it. But in my experience, most companies have more great ideas than they'll ever be able to execute. Um, you know, more ways that they can serve customers, more ways that they can find opportunities. So really, innovation has three practices that are critically important. The first is indeed getting ideas, ideation. But then there's this very subtle practice of incubation which a lot of companies are not very good at. So this is um, piloting, um, do, building customer understanding. Um, many people talk about the minimum viable product. You know, how do you get something in front of a customer, prototyping? Mm -hmm. And then eventually when you've got something that you think could be a business, it's then accelerating. So how do I now ramp it up and get it to knit with the rest of the company? Because after all, that's, that's the point. So I think you need to think about how you build proficiency at each of those. So how do I get good ideas? How do I screen them? How do I experiment with them so that I see whether or not a customer really is going to respond? And then once I've got something that's working, how do I now bring it and bring it into the mothership, as it were? Uh, and there's some interesting ways companies have started to um, practice some of those uh, techniques. So one company I'm working with um, now is actually a Silicon Valley incubator. It's called Mach 49. And what they do is they help companies indeed find the ideas, but then they take whole teams, bring them to Silicon Valley for three months to do the incubation part because most companies aren't very good at it. So they put them in an incubator. It's kind of like Y Combinator for the Global 1000. <laughs> they put them in an incubator and they get coaches and they meet Silicon Valley people and they w learn how to prototype and they get people they call makers to come in and you know, make stuff for them. Uh, and the concept is that at the end of the three months, they'll have done that hard work of incubation and they will be returning as, as sort of people ready to grow a business to the, the parent company, which I think is a really kind of fun and new approach to, to thinking about that incubation challenge. The other big issue that a lot of companies run into is the people that are running the acceleration part of innovation are probably not the same people that you have doing the ideation part. People that like to start with a blank sheet of paper are not people that want to go out and build supply chains and show up at, you know, buyer meetings and negotiate requirements contracts. You know, it's a different kind of personality. So you have to give a lot of thought to how the people change as you go through the life cycle of an innovation. Mm.